Hi folks, how you all doing? Crosstus 6 here. Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day, evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I really hope you enjoy my content and it inspires you to hit that like and subscribe button. Anyway, on with today's gameplay. We're in the Dreadnought on Prokhorovka. Tier 7 matchup, um, which is pretty good. Now this turned out to be uh, an exceptionally good game for myself, but I won't tell you what the result was. You'll have to wait until the end, so you'll have to just watch it. It's only 12 minutes of your life. Uh, you can do it. Go on. Now this is just a pre-recorded one as per normal, uh, I hadn't hit that record button <laughs> at the time of me playing the game, stupidly. So I had to go back in and record it uh, after the game had actually finished, so you'll have to just uh, forgive me for that one. So hey, England are through to the final on Sunday uh, of the European Championships. <laughs> hey, never thought we'd be doing that, you know. <laughs> I watched part of the match. Um, uh, it's only people kicking a, a bag of air around the field, isn't it? But it's an important bag of air, I guess. But we're through to the final, nonetheless, playing Italy on Sunday. So I guess I'm going to have to make the effort and watch that and cheer the, the, the English side on, albeit <laughs> certain parts of this country uh, that will be cheering on Italy. Uh, you wouldn't think we're one nation, would you, really? But there you go. That's, that's a political matter, isn't it? <laughs> that's one of the things you just don't get into. What was it to say? Don't talk about politics or religion. <laughs> it just causes no end of problems. Ain't that the truth? But anyway, on with today's gameplay. Yeah, I love this tank, the Dreadnought. It's such a, a beast of a tank, it really is. It's got naff all for armour, so if you've got this tank, you'll understand what I'm, I'm talking about. It's got crap armour, it really has. Um, but you just make do with what you've got and try and do the best that you can. What is this tank good for? Well, it's got a great cannon on it uh, and that's about all it's got going for it it's not very fast as I say armor is next to nothing pretty much anything will pen you if it gets a chance to hit you so it's a support tank the viewing range on it is garbage uh, but the only thing that is going for this is the cannon that's it so just play it as a support vehicle and just try and do the best that you can um, game wise I generally tend to have it's a bit of a mixed bag with this tank uh, see out of 10 games I'll probably have about four pretty decent games and about two mediocre games and the rest you just get annihilated early on in the game the accuracy on the cannon isn't particularly great uh, it all comes down to that uh, Russian number generator uh, as to whether Stalin's looking at you in his favour or not uh, invariably I've found a lot of my shots especially if you tried to do them from long distance uh, a lot of them will miss and they'll go completely outside the reticule um, which gets frustrating from time to time it really does but bear with it uh, because it really is a good tank in its own right it really is and when you do smack somebody boy you slap the crap out of them you really do uh, and that's what it's good for it's good for that initial blast damage um, you know spaced armor if you're going to fire the, the high explosives um, you know if, go for weak spots and if you don't know where the weak spots are then go on to something like tanks GG and just look at all the different tanks uh, and just go into the armor values and, and just play around with that and you can do it on the console as well it'll show you all, all the armor values penetration and all that kind of stuff uh, of all the tanks that you're likely to come across within the game that's all I do I just look at the different tanks look at two or three tanks a day uh, and just try to imagine myself in a battle with it and where I would try and hit it and try and remember that for future reference I guess well it seems to work for me but anyway with the gameplay we're down to 11 to 4 um, so it's looking like a loss isn't it or is it <laughs> as I said this turned out to be a very very decent game for myself now you just need to sit and watch to the end we're nearly there so come on a few more minutes ain't gonna hurt you and whilst you're there, if you're getting a bit bored and your fingers are starting to tap on the side of your desk uh, <laughs> or your chair, if you're watching this sat in your comfy chair on your television, then uh, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. So we're down to eight versus three. Now, under normal circumstances, I would say the game is done, dusted, over. But it ain't over till the fat lady sings, and she ain't singing yet. She can naff off. She better not sing just now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you just got to ramble it <laughs> that's what I say let's just ramble it you got nothing to lose if you're gonna lose the game you're gonna lose the game there's the old uh, artillery trying to get a shot at me thankfully he misses 
uh, with a bit of luck. So, yeah, this is if I make a comeback here, then I've got to be an exceptionally good player, haven't I? <laughs> There's nothing like blowing your own trumpet, is there? <laughs> I'm just trying to do a fill-in. It's called a fill-in. I'm just, you know, you try to come up with things to say. There he is. There's a dreaded artillery. So, my turn to take a shot at you and see if I can take you out. This is a thing with recording. I wish Wargaming had changed this. I really do. On the PC version, you can go right in and do a free camera and all that kind of thing. Uh, and this, on the, the console, it's just, it's naff. It's just not very good at all. And I think that's, I wish they'd sort it out. I really do. So, come on, Wargaming. Get your finger out your ass and get this sorted out. Make it better for us um, YouTubers, you know, to, to be able to do proper videos without having to go back in and have all this crap down the left-hand side of the screen, which is annoying to say the least. But anyway, we brought it back to four to me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so the question is, is, can the mighty Dreadnought redeem himself? Has Stalin sat down with his cup of vodka I thought, you know, we can give him a chance. It's it's a Russian tank after all. And we've got the Russian number generator, so that tells you everything you need to know. But can he come back? Can this man do it? Can he ramble it and get in there and kick ass and chew bubblegum and take names? <laughs> do you like the filler? <laughs> do you like that? Do you like do you like our kind of fill in and just, you know, ad lib? <laughs> you got to. You should try this yourself. Try try doing this yourself, a voiceover. Uh, and you talk about all sorts of mundane pitch <laughs> of trying to fill in in the boring parts you know the, the bits that not a lot is happening but I'm just making my way back towards the base because uh, they're obviously on the base now trying to cap uh, so I'm just thinking in for a penny in for a pound what have we got to lose we've lost the game anyway um, I'll just try and get that last little bit of damage try and eat that little bit of damage out before it's finally game over I've still got a lot of health left over a thousand hit points um, so I can probably take two or three shots before I'll be finally done. The dreaded Jeff, the arty, is now out of the game, which is great for me because I can't stand them bloody things. Now it's been nerfed on the PC, and albeit you do still see some artillery in the game, but nowhere near as much, especially when you get up into the higher tier matches, uh, you know, sort of 8 to 10. Uh, you hardly ever see artillery now. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Uh, my opinion on artillery is... Uh, I don't think they should completely do away with artillery. I just think they should, for the matchmaking, I think they should just bring it down to perhaps one on each side. Um, that's my opinion anyway. So we're down to 1v3 now. We managed to take him out on the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down to the, the K line and just try and cover the base effectively so I can pop in through the bushes and get a shot that anything wants to sit on the base. Uh, and that's all I'm thinking of here. Uh, managed to whittle it down to three. So we're doing all right. So even if I get killed here, I think I've still had a, a pretty decent game. Uh, and again, this is the other thing. It doesn't actually tell you, uh, normally in the, in the live gameplay, up on the right-hand corner, it will tell you how much damage you've actually done. But in the replays, of course, it doesn't tell you that. You've got to wait until the end of the match. But that's a good thing, um, because you can see exactly how I performed at the end of this game. I mean, obviously the Dreadnought is basically just the KV-2, so it's known for its dirt gun. Uh, it's like the ISU-152. Now, I love that tank. When it had the BL-10 cannon on it, man, that thing was just an absolute beast. It really was. And on the PC variant, um, I've got the ISU-152K, which they, you know, obviously is a premium vehicle, so Wargaming made a bit of cash out of me yet again for that. But that had the, the BL-10 cannon on it, so they brought it back in again for that. Um, so I did buy that one back, and I, I love it. I, I just love that tank, I really do. Again, it's got crap armor, and it's slow moving, slow turn, and all that kind of stuff. But it's just it's just a beast in its own right. And if it's played properly, uh, and you get the right map, boy, you can just absolutely dominate. You really can. 750, 800 hit points off of a tank per round. Uh, you just can't beat it. And this tank is very, very similar to that. Uh, providing your shots land, of course. Uh, and as I said earlier on, I do find quite a few times with this tank that a lot of your rounds will miss. Um, but a lot of that is just down to if you're too far away um, and whether Stalin's on your side or not, um, you know, the old Russian number generator. And if it is, you can't miss. And if it isn't, then you cream crack it effectively. So I'm going to try and get a shot in at him. 
which I've got a great shot at him. <laughs> Just about one shot at him. Uh, you can't knock that, can you? And this is what this tank is really, really good for. So we've got 27 seconds on the clock. And I think it's it's about a 12, 13 second reload uh, for this cannon, uh, which isn't too bad. So get a shot of this Chiri. Bye bye, Chiri. <laughs> so we're now down to two to one. Uh, so I managed to reset the clock again. He's just got a few hit points left. Uh, so I just need to get a shot into this captured KV-1. Uh, and then that's the end of the game for him. And then it's me, 1v1. So can I get him? Nope, missed. Come on. Yes, there he is. There he is. He's gone. Now it's just 1v1. And this is what I'm talking about. Oh, there's Booty. 44 coming online. Uh, <laughs> but I just love this tank. I really do. And it's just... It's one of these fun tanks that you just drive around and when your shots hit and you just see the health disappear off the tanks, it just puts a smile on your face. Uh, and certainly with the way things have been as of late uh, with this game, uh, there hasn't been a lot of smiling uh, for, for a lot of people. But this tank is just one of them tanks that when you're having a, a crappy day's tank and whatever, just take this out for a few games. And it doesn't matter whether you have a great game or a bad game or a mediocre game. It really doesn't matter. It's just the fact that you derp somebody and you just see their health disappear and it kind of gives you a sick sense of satisfaction. So I'm just going to make my way down to about B1, A1 area just to see if there's anything. Now, at this point I'm thinking, I don't know whether this guy's actually um, done anything or moved. I, I can't recall seeing this guy. Now, of course, I can't bring up the, the screen to show you because uh, it doesn't tell you. But... For me personally, I'm just thinking, well, I'm going to make my way down there, and if I, I'll still have enough time if he does get onto the cap for me to come back and take a shot at him. And, and that's all I'm thinking of at the moment, and just slowly making my way down here, and just hoping, hoping that he's probably AFK or something like that. Because I hadn't seen him. All the times that I was making my way down um, from K67 area, I, I didn't recall, you know, this guy taking a shot at me. Um, and there he is, the O'Ne. So I thought, well, okay, perhaps that he's AFK. Uh, and so we're on eight kills. We just need this one more kill. So we bagged the Radley Walters. Um, so that's good. So we get a nice shot into him, taken for 622, which was a low roll for this tank. And so all we've got to do now is take another shot at him, and hopefully we can finish him off. He's obviously AFK, so it's just free damage for me. Uh, so we've got this game in the bag, unless he turns his turret and shoots me, and one-shots me with his dead gun. And another 602, so he's just got 141 hit points left. Now, providing he doesn't turn and shoot at me, we've got this game in the bag. We've got 2 minutes, 17 seconds to go in the game, so plenty of time. Sit back, relax, take your time. <laughs> or as Skill would say, this is the plan, this is the dream. <laughs> as it happens. <laughs> so we won! Look at that. We've done really, really well. But anyway, on to the end plates. 9 kills, nearly 4,000 damage. Not too shabby. So till the next one, catch us all then. Take care. Bye-bye.